All right, I'm here with Chris O'Dowd, who has Calvary at the festival, and um, your accent just kills me. It's um, it's it took a lot of work, but we got here eventually. Mm -hmm. I went via Louisiana and Wales to get here, <laughs> but I'm gonna stick with it now. Do people ever think that you actually don't have that accent? Um, weirdos, you know. People shout at me in the street, you're lying, but I just don't listen to them. See, I find you could say anything, but in the way you say it and in that accent, it's funny. And seductive, right? Mm -hmm. Very seductive. Yeah. Definitely seductive. You have a, a, a very open mind, and mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Did you, you were obviously bridesmaids, you know, changed the world for a lot of people, almost everybody in it, um, and for you, that moment. Did, did you recognize that moment when it was happening? You know what, I think I kind of, I did actually. I went to a screening on the Friday night, um, like just went as a punter and saw people go crazy. And uh, yeah, I kind of knew that it was gonna, it was gonna work out. And it was, ex it was really exciting because when we were making the film, I didn't really do anything with the girls. I obviously had all the stuff with Kristen, but I didn't realize like Melissa and all the, everybody was just doing all this incredibly funny stuff. So it was, it was terrific. Right, you're in one movie and... and totally, yeah. I was kind of like in a rom-com thing and then they're just doing this amazing balls out comedy. And this film, Calvary, is a very, uh, it opens with a scene that I'm actually not gonna say here, but it's like a very, in that true Irish tradition mm -hmm. of uh, bleak, and horrifying set against this kind of small town and humor and and um, odd, not camaraderie, but I don't know even how to describe it. So it you're like Irish. A, how do you describe an Irish person? How, how do you describe it? Um, how do you describe an Irish person? Yeah. Well, it really depends. It, it's not yeah. like uh, there's Smurfs. Yeah. No. <laughs> it depends on the type of Irish person it is. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying. I, I really don't. I, okay, but I, never uh, mind. No, right. I, you know what? I guess the film the is... The Irish what? condition. How about that? The Irish condition? Yes. Eczema. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, you the know, human it's, condition <laughs> of being Irish. No, I understand. And, and yeah. I think that the, the film, in a lot of ways, is really a, a conversation about our current feelings towards organized religion. Mm -hmm. And that is a conversation that's ongoing and the changes with the, each generation. And it's certainly right now at a place where we just don't trust it for the first time in our nation's history. And I think that that's kind of what the, the, the movie is about. And you're right in that it is, it's, it's a very small town film and it's very bleak at place. It's very funny at place. Everybody knows each other's this business and a priest at the start who's played by uh, Brendan Gleeson, mm -hmm. is told that in a week's time he is going to be killed. And then essentially, for the rest of the film, the audience is trying to work out who it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. <laughs> 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 and is this the kind of movie that you, I mean, I would imagine working with that, those brothers are incredible. Yeah, I mean, John, I, I love yeah. the guard, and, uh, and I think they're really great writers. And yeah, uh, it, it, it's very specific, the way that they write. It's very, it's almost... It's it's so brutally honest, and uh, I think nobody makes the kind of work that they make. So it's very enjoyable. Were you brought up with religion? I was an altar boy, but uh, funnily, when when the script came along, first of all, I was kind of I wasn't that interested in it before I had read it because I presumed it was going to be a hatchet job on priests, and my experience with priests has always been very very positive, but I wouldn't like them to be ridiculed in the way that. It would be very easy to do mm -hmm. for an independent filmmaker to do. Anything else you want to tell me about? Um, I can like bench press 200 pounds. You can? Yeah. That's amazing. I'll do it right now. You can? Where have you been working Oh, we at? don't have it. We don't have the... Oh, we don't yeah. have it. Oh, shoot. Yeah. That's all right. You can just believe me. I believe you. <laughs> yeah. I have faith. Are I'm you... real strong. Yeah. I, I could see. You're, uh... What would you have done if you weren't an actor? Ooh. I've always wanted to work for Vanity Fair, um, probably like in a makeup department or something. Mm -hmm. Could you have helped a little bit? With this? Yeah. Their hands, not wands. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I know. I Believe me, I know what you mean. It's tough, especially day five. I need wands. No, no, I need some good. smoke and mirrors and everything. Um, yeah, either that or um, wrestler, probably. Wrestler or makeup at Vanity Fair. 
Mm -hmm. I'm, the rest of the thing might come up again. Yeah. Are, are you in L.A. now? I'm in L.A. for a bit and then New York. Doing Broadway until July. What Broadway? We're doing uh, Broadway in Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have an accent? I'm in so it? sorry. No, uh, I'm doing of mice and men. Oh, you are a mice yeah. and men. Oh yeah. my god, Lenny. Yeah. With Lenny, yes. Yeah. Franco as um, as George. Oh, great. Yeah, so it should be fun. That'll be amazing. So you're not going to be Irish in that. Well, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully on your not. Midwest accent. <laughs> yeah. Flat. Well, I think they're kind of Californians, and, well. but we'll see. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. <gasps> All right, that's a wrap. We're done. We're good. You're free to go. Thank you so much. That was fun. That was fun. Appreciate Have a great it. rest of fest. Yes, Be you safe. too. Good luck with it all.